Oke, okay, hai, selamat pagi teman-teman. Hari ini saya kembali lagi untuk kalian. Siapa yang akan kita roasting kali ini? Ayo, let's go. Go. Pakai yang dulu supaya kedengaran. Ya, kali ini kita akan merosting PewDiePie Why in Japan? Kenapa harus di Jepang? Saya juga tidak tahu I am in Japan, I swear Gundam, very Japan Books, very Japan They finally arrived Making me feel a little bit smarter Alright, so I asked you guys to ask me questions about my move in Japan Because I figured maybe there are some and I like to talk about it So let's do it Number one favorite thing about Japan. <laughs> it always has to boil down to one thing, doesn't it? As much as I'd like for that to be the case, just to make it easier to answer this question that everyone wants to know. Are you are you moving to Japan? What do you like about it? Well, actually, there's many things. Dia cerita, uh, katanya dia sedang di Jepang. Tapi, ya beberapa hal menunjukkan bahwa Swear, dia sedang di Jepang. Apakah benar seperti itu? Dan ada yang bertanya, hmm, apa yang lebih favorit di sana? I like about Japan. I couldn't really. Okay, I'm bored. You didn't say one thing. Just say anime. <laughs> It's complicated. I just like it here. Okay. What is something you just found out about Japan that you dislike? That's a good question. It's my first month here. Japan can do no wrong. Everything is amazing. I love it. Let me enjoy my honeymoon phase with this country, please. I'm sure there will be things. Oh, actually, I did find it strange how people ride on bicycles and the on the sidewalk. But now that I have a bike, I kind of get it. <laughs> how do the people around respond to you guys? Like total strangers or some of them recognize you? Yes, I still get recognized, but it's usually foreigners living here that recognize me. I've never been approached by a Japanese person. Although sometimes strangers just start speaking English to me and I'm kind of confused by it. But I do think it's because people are nice and they want to practice English maybe. I don't know. Favorite food in Japan? Sushi. The, you, you can't go wrong with the fish here. It's, and as an epic pescatarian, I love the fish here. I get to enjoy the fish here. Very good fish here. UK? I can say it now because I don't live in you anymore. Your fish sucks. It's bad. What's up with that? Fish and chips? It's good. Fish and chips? You're, that's okay. Other fish? No. Then, before we continue, quick word from sponsor. To celebrate me moving to Japan, Opera GX, the greatest browser of all time, has made a surprise for me uh, with open GL errors apparently I think that's actually on my end <laughs> uh, we got the PewDiePie bed this is how we arrived in our private jet that has a pool uh, this is the team that built it sick so Opera GS ha has this thing called the gamer house or something it's so funny I love it so they built me one in Minecraft Oh, my recording studio! Let's go! Yes, it's like I'm walking in on myself. Hey, you got the Pootie Pie videos! Let's go! So, a feature that is amazing and with the Opera GX is this change of themes, which you can change. Oh, that's so cool! They work! How did they do that? You can change your theme of your browser. And they all look sexy as hell. I would recommend the PewDiePie one, which you can use by downloading Opera GX in the link in the description, but they have a ton of other cool stuff as well. This is so cool! Alright, where does this go? Oh, of course, another great feature about the Opera GX is the sidebar. You want to use Spotify? One click away, baby. It's always there. You want to use Discord? One click away. Twitch, one click away. WhatsApp, always there. It's super convenient, honestly. A game changer. I feel like other browsers are starting to copy it, but they are on top of Opera GX is on top of all the new features. Love it. Love the sidebar. This is how hot your CPU will be with that GX control. Oof. Do you hate your computer or something? Why are you letting your computer suffer for no reason? Just activate GX control, baby. 
You can limit your RAM usage. Hot tab killer, amazing feature. Find out which tabs are the ones that take up the most of uh, your computing power. CPU limiter as well. Incredible feature. Oh my god, Sven! And Dark Sven! <laughs> oh, oh, what is that? You made it all the way to Japan! Yes! Oh, you guys get your own big screen. Oh my god, it's here again! Yes! We made it all the way to Japan! I got my Japanese cars! Uh. GX Cookie Cleaner. <laughs> oh, we got a sushi conveyor belt, I love it. Let's clear those cookies. Yeah, get those cookies cleared. <laughs> GX. Oh, nice. Should we play? It is not super necessary, but goddamn, is it nice that it's there. Let's check out the GX corner, baby. Uh, so we have the ability, of course, to turn dark mode on or off. Whoa, what's gonna happen? Oh, sick. <laughs> hey, we got the PewDiePie Opera GX theme. Beautiful. One of the finest looking ones, in my guy, if I say so myself. They also have the ability to force dark mode. Some websites are sociopaths and they don't allow dark mode. Opera GX says no dark mode. Protect gamers' precious eyes. They also have a feature to check out my latest videos if you use the link in the description. The latest version of the download will have an animated theme as well, so definitely check that out. So if you already have Opera downloaded, I recommend checking out the animated theme. They have a ton of great animated other themes. The game suggestion feature, I personally found a ton of great games through. And people ask, hey, well, how did you find this game? And I'm like, it's a secret. <laughs> It sounds like such a fake commercial. It's actually true. It has happened. That's such a cool idea. I love this. Thank you, Opera GX. I highly recommend checking out. Link is in the description to download. It's available on your phone as well, which I recommend as well, because it's really easy to send files through your phone. They didn't show that, but they have a feature where you can share files from your phone to your computer super easily if you have the browser. And that's the end of this sponsored segment. Believe it or not, this was a sponsored segment. <laughs> All right. Back to the video. How has Japan affected your lifestyle and content creation? Uh, have you been watching my channel? I'm a vlogger now. Thank you for all the support on the vlogs. I really appreciate it. That's been just been an undying love and support in the comments. And uh, normally I'm a bit more private and I don't like to share too much stuff. I like I hardly post on Instagram and social media anymore, but it's been really fun to share this journey with you guys. And uh, all the positivity just makes me want to do more. So thank you. What was the what first was Japanese the first dish you ate? I think uh, a rice ball? Tuna me a rice ball. Can't go wrong with that. What's a new hobby you want to get into? I look forward to build more Gundams while I'm here. I have this one that I bought also two years ago. That's gonna be epic. I like building Gundam. It's very fun and relaxing and you should try it. But I'm good on the new hobby front. I'm preoccupied learning Japanese as well. What was the most, oh my god, of course Japan moment you had so far? I think when we try to apply for the bank account, <laughs> I brought a whole folder of paper thinking they're gonna ask me for a bunch of weird papers and I will bring every single paper I have and that still wasn't enough. So that felt very, of course, Japan. <laughs> uh, how is the vending machine life? Oh, I love it. I love it. I have like 10 vending, different vending machines in my 100 meter radius and it's incredible. How are gyms in Japan? Did you bring your workout equipment? The nearest gym to me is, well, I wasn't that impressed by it. It's not bad, but I prefer to work out at home. So I got myself a half power rack. I haven't got the weights yet, but I really look forward to use it. I know they have really good gyms here though. Connor told me they have amazing gyms with like pools and saunas and blame and a bam. Uh, I just, I don't think it's worth it for me. I enjoy the, flexibility of working out at home. If not for Japan, where else would you have gone to? See, this is a really tough thing for us since we weren't sure if we were actually going to be able to move or not. We kept thinking like, okay, well, what do we do? Do we go to here? Do we go to And I think it was so stressful because it would always just come back to, but we still really want to go to Japan. Like, that's what we want to do. You know, I'm sure there's other great options out there. Japan is what we wanted to move to. Having to prolong the process and make okay. it so Take difficult to move here, it just reassured. Last video, bye.
uh, kesimpulannya dia hanya membacakan komen-komenan orang bagaimana tentang Jepang, bagaimana makanan Jepang, bagaimana minuman Jepang, ma- apa saja yang kamu sukain dari Jepang, intinya seperti itu. Dan untuk selebihnya kita akan buat versi sendiri. Terima kasih sudah menonton dan sampai jumpa. Bye bye.